Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this uh, link I got regarding a uh, WhiteHouse.gov petition. For those who may not know, uh, if you go to White House, petition.whitehouse.gov, you can file a petition. You have to be an American citizen. And uh, if it receives 100,000 signatures, basically it gets reviewed by the White House. And um, so what this individual did, JJ, uh, is filed a petition for repeal of line of sight for UAS or unmanned aerial systems, i.e. drones, uh, to repeal that uh, portion from the FAA Part 107. Now, one of the things, again, I wanted to share this, and, and whether you sign it or not is, I think, a, a personal preference of yours, but I just wanted to make everybody aware of it. Now, for me, I did sign it because uh, here, uh, the verbiage here is a little bit, at least to me, was a little bit confusing because, you know, here we're starting off with the standard preamble and saying we want to peel, repeal the line of sight or visual line of sight portion of 107 and replace it with must use VO visual observer if flown out of line, visual line of sight with at least so I'm assuming that they're speaking of some sort of camera because they've mentioned 90 degree camera or is there going to be another observer somewhere else that can watch it if it flies out of you the pilot's line of sight I'm really not sure but I think for me the concept you know just to have this reviewed by the White House and considered I think is important uh, because I think this personally the whole visual line of sight needs to be changed I mean you can take something like the spark and you can hear the spark far far further than you can actually see it and I think with the change in technology I think a lot of this uh, you know part 107 stuff is still fairly antiquated if you will in not keeping up with technology and one of the big things that I personally feel you know in my day job I'm a technologist and for technology to grow you have to remove the restraints of the past from it you know so it, it, you know good example if we had the same horse and buggy laws applied to automobiles automobiles wouldn't be where they're at today and so I think again we're being a little bit prehistoric with regards to rules for drones now what's the total right answer I don't know I don't know if this is it there's a lot uh, smarter people in this field than I but again I think there's time for change and that's why I'm supporting it is I think it does need to be considered and does need to be reviewed for change uh, I think there's several other ones that need to be posted out here because one of the big things that really just kind of confused me is the operation you know to 400 feet which I'm actually good with I, I think drones to 400 feet are fine I think a lot of people miss the concept that the gravity is a constant and the higher you go the faster you fall and something like a spark can hit with as much uh, force as a car you know if it falls from high enough ie like the guy that took it up to 1600 feet so I, I'm good with that and, and I don't understand why we can't have um, you know regulations that say aircraft have to stay 700 feet or above unless landing and, and I've sort of rambled about this in some of my other videos uh, too I, I don't get it because where I live here near the water I routinely see private aircraft helicopters and fixed wing under 700 feet which which just blows my mind because they're flying over people houses and things like that under 700 feet and while not a private pilot I can't see how that is a prudent activity so anyways I've rambled a bit about that in the uh, you know other piece I think too is where you can fly it I know I was just watching the I think a uh, big ball vlogs or something like that where he you know got busted for flying a state park you know for Pete's sake it's a state park it's state land it's paid for paid for by the people of the state now again I understand you know the right to quiet enjoyment and things like that of a state park or any type of park but I also understand that there that there has to be accommodations made for all those who wish to use the park so again I think I think there are a number of different aspects that the drone community uh, should step up on and, and that's why I give kudos to JJ here for making a first attempt again Again, whether this is the right answer or not I don't really have the answer and in again signing up for this doesn't mean that you know you support the end answer or the end answer will be 
the answer to this. In other words, that this exact verbiage is going to change 107, but that you you want this whole line of sight um, issue looked at by the government and taken very seriously. And so, anyways. I just want to share this with uh, you guys out there and uh, again if you feel the same way about it please sign it if you don't feel the same way that's okay too I mean that's one of the great things I think about this country is everybody's entitled to their opinion and we all have the ability to vote so at the end of the day uh, if enough people sign up for this then that's great it's going to be looked at by the White House doesn't necessarily mean action is going to be taken, but uh, that's how a democracy works. So, again, I'm just sharing this so you guys know it's out there. I'll have the link down below. Also, don't forget when you sign up, you also have to confirm your um, registration via email, too. So, anyways, hopefully, you found this interesting. I know I did. I was very uh, encouraged to see this because, again, I think a, a lot more folks in the drone community need to do things like this. And uh, hey, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Good, bad, or indifferent. Again, I think everybody has the right to their own opinion. I'm not telling you what your opinion should be. Uh, matter of fact, I'm asking to hear your opinion below. Um, so again, lunch today was just a bologna sandwich. So cheers. See you later.